it's Dusty on the beat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. There's thoughts. It's been it's been quite a while since I last been on here, but um, a few things was going on where I wasn't able to have enough time to make videos. But I believe I'm here for a while now, so y'all be seeing me a lot more. Um, so today video is coming with a review just pretty much me letting y'all out there know a product that might can help you out it's a um it is a continuous light lead light um as you could tell i'm not sure if you can tell but you should be able to tell after a while I have my camera settings at um, 1 over 60 shutter speed and um, 1.4 f-stop and a thousand ISO if y'all know anything about camera settings um, but that's what I had to put the ISO at in order to get the exposure that you see at this moment. But it doesn't look the best. And so I am going to go ahead and cut on the light and show y'all what it looks like with what I'm with what with what with what I have. I have a um I have an umbrella um diffusing the light I don't I have a a laterin laterin uh, diffuser but it's a little bulky so I not using it at this moment I do plan to get a softbox in the near future and I do a review on that once I do get to that point but here we go I'm about to go over here and change my settings and I'm gonna put my ISO back to what it should stay on if possible a hundred the lowest that it go but as you can tell look how dark that looks Ooh. okay well ladies and gentlemen I'm back how does this look it looks a lot better right that's what I was shooting for um, the quality should be better. Um, being able to put my camera in the settings that it should be will help with the quality also. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do a quick unboxing. Hopefully it's quick enough. And um, here is the light. That's what it is. Hopefully that light ain't too bright for you to see. Yep. Okay. So here we go. Amaran 60D. And it is a 60 watt light. Uh, actually 65 if I'm not mistaken and so we're just gonna go ahead and unbox it so I can show y'all uh, let me show y'all the back of the box all right so that's the back and as you can tell it has um, the light itself 
um, the reflector, the mount, and the adapter for you to plug in your batteries. Um, I'll talk about that once I get to it. And here's the power cords and the power bank. All right, so it's a um, it's a daylight only light, which means uh, it's only one temperature, which is 5600 Kelvin, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 5600 Kelvin. So um, they also have another one that is um, Amaran 60. Uh, Uh, I I put that up here. <laughs> I put that up in um up here. Uh, it done slipped my mind just that quick. I think it's a um uh, is it S? No, sixty S sixty C. I don't know. It done slipped my mind, but. Here we go. Yeah. And flip that on around. Let's see. All right. They got it. They got the nice little to look buckles. Just like a little suitcase. Styrofoam. Pretty tough. I would say, and there we go, and there was light, hmm, yeah, so I got this in the mail, I probably had it about two weeks, I would say, um, I've been using one, I, had, I, I purchased two of them, got them off of Amazon, uh, they were, uh i'll put it up here how much they were all right so um we'll start off with the little beast it's a little light it's very tiny yeah it's very nice it's nice um i've been enjoying it it's very lightweight it's very powerful for the size that it is so um yeah so this is a cover to protect it so let's start off with that then we're gonna go to this piece which is the adapter you know how they got it tangled up in here here we go this is the adapter for the batteries that i was talking about and it's for the what are these um npf 550s yeah that's the type of batteries that um and these are off of amazon also they're not sony they are newer um but those are the batteries that go within here so here is the mount of the bracket that you um, right here goes right into here clicks in boom just like that then this here it's got a little little screw so that once you stick it within the hole you click then you twist Make sure it's good and secure. And we we there. All right. So now we're gonna add one battery. Just stick it. If you can see those little grooves, you could just tell from the little grooves in here. You just line it up right and then push down and it clicks all right and then 
do the same for the other side. It won't work with just one battery. It takes two. All right. And then, so now, here's the on switch right here. Click that on. Ooh, so it starts off at 40. It goes from 0% all the way to 100%. And 100% is pretty bright. So here we go. We're gonna, it's this latch here that you push down. Then it's got a Bowens mount on it. All you do is twist it, pops off. All right. Put that to the side, and there's the little bub. And honestly, that little bub is more powerful than people might think. So we're gonna turn it on to one percent. So here we go. Watch your eyes. One percent. Where we at? Going the wrong way. Here we go. One percent. That's just one percent. Has a knob here that controls your brightness but you also could twist it to go up as you can tell and if you want to if you got an idea of where you want to be at just click the button in and it go 20 40 60 80 and 100 and it is bright so we're going to turn that back down to one and from what I've heard, when it first came out, it was hard. It was hard for a person to know what um, percentage your battery was at. But with the new firmware that they put out, um, all you do, all you have to do is click this button. Which this button here is for you to set up your Bluetooth when you go to set it up and everything um, through your app or your phone. But you could just mash it and it'll tell you your percentage. Well, it's supposed to. There we go. Okay, so you click it, you hold it, and. Uh, why is it doing that? Anyway, I think it has something to do with this. Uh, has something to do with this app. Try it. Oh, that's what happened. All right, guys. Earlier when I was um, gathering everything up, um, actually, I don't even have this. Um, I don't have this connected yet, so I'm about to do that. See if I can get that on camera. All right, so we're going to sit that there. See, go ahead and cut that to zero percent. Pull out the phone. See if y'all can see that. Okay, so we're gonna cancel that. And up here, it say add scene. And we're gonna go to new fixture. And it is asking what it is I'm trying to connect and as y'all already know, I already have one that is the same light. So we're going to go here to the second one and hit set up. And I say, okay, 100% pairing successful. All right. So now 
that what I was trying to do earlier should work. So it still ain't gonna work. Let me see. Uh, okay. Right here is the switch for you to control your brightness. As you can see, the light is brightening up all the way. And then hit this for to cut it off. I think it's a little delay. There we go. So that cuts the light off and then you can hit it again. I must be, uh, there we go. Holding my phone like this is hard for me to see it. But that does that. And here you can hit, let me go back. If you hit here, that should say, it got the little battery indicator. Let me see. All you do is hit the little, see it's asking for a firmware update. That's why, that's why I wasn't doing the battery percentage the way I was thinking. So gonna hit firmware, say update now. And I'm probably gonna speed this up. Fifty-two percent. And that thing's slow. They say, please keep. Please do not. Uh, this update pro progress is moving so fast I can't read it, y'all. But it's pretty much saying to keep your phone in the same distance of your um, light, and it could take up from three to five minutes. Please wait patiently. All right, so as that's doing that, I'll talk a little bit more about this wonderful light. So... <clears throat> Um, let's put this here. Okay, put that there. All right, so here is the, the little reflector that comes with it. It's a very tiny reflector. Um, yeah. The bad thing about this reflector from um, using it, um, on the other light here which i don't i don't use it um it has a very 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 um what's the word i'm looking for it's got a hot spot right there in the middle so when it's shining on the wall or whatever it's a very hot very bright hot spot and it's not an even light so i would say that this, this right here would be the only downfall to uh this whole light system in my opinion um it also comes with um I guess some instructions um yeah some instructions and stuff um so y'all could read through that once y'all get one. Do get one. It's it's worth it. And this is right here is a little uh, reflect uh, diffuser. Uh, not really. That's not really the best quality. I would I would say. Um, here's the power cords. Um, 
pretty lengthy. It's it's a very um very long cord. Yes, it's a very long cord. Um, that's a big positive. You don't have to worry about it dangling from your um, light and worrying about it not being long enough to reach um, and pulling your light down off your stand. And here's the rest of the cord, which you know, of course, um, this end, this end plugs into this end. Um, and that end goes into the wall. And of course, this end goes into your light. All right, so we're gonna put that to the side. And this right here is, I would say the quality of this bracket is very good. I really like the feel of it, the material it feel like it's made out of. It's, it feels, it, it's a lot of, it's good quality. And um, here, take this out, and that's the bracket that goes. You know what, we're gonna get back to that, because we're at 100%. I think we was already there. So, we're gonna hit okay. And now, the light is connected. Now, here we go, we're about to test it. It, it should say what the percentage of the battery is. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. So it's 85, what was it? 85%. 85%, so now, like I said, the problem I was having earlier is what it was doing, is what it was doing before, when it first came out. Um, and then the firmware updates um, allowed it to be able to check your battery levels from from your battery here. So, um, yeah. So we're gonna cut this back down to one. Matter of fact, we just cut it down to zero. All right. And now back to this little piece that um, this screws into the bottom here. This is very nice quality, I would say, also. Um, the one thing about this light, it's portable, it's small, and that's all good, but one thing about it is the material that it's made out of, it's not the strongest. It's like a hard plastic, so I'm not saying don't take it out and about. I would just say be very mindful of it and be careful. Um, be extra careful so that you don't, um, you know, be too rough with it and end up breaking something. Because then you'll be crying. Um, uh, unless you don't cry. And I guess I'm, I guess I'm not telling the truth of that, huh? Yeah. All right. So, of course, that goes like that. And you tighten it down. Tighten it down. Yep, so that, let's do that again. So that goes, of course that was screwed on the bottom. That goes there. And tighten it down, boom. Now it is, it is as sturdy as it wanna be. But then it also has this this knob here, which um, goes onto your um, clips onto your stand, and you tighten it down. And then, of course, it swivels here. It swivels here, but um, you can tighten this to tighten that. And now, kind of how I like to to use it when I don't have like an umbrella or softbox on it and I just have the reflector um, just holding it by by this grip is very I like it I mean I have I have big hands as it is anyway but for the most part I think anybody would feel comfortable with um, using it that way now here's the reflector that we're gonna um, 
go ahead and put on the Bowens mount. You'll see three, three spots right here. Three grooves right here, here, and here. And the way this goes on here and twist. You'll hear that click and you're good to go. And then to take it out, it's this little pin that we use to take the cover off. We'll match that back and then we'll turn it and back out. Now from the top view, all right, so here we're going to line it up. Line it up here. Boom. And then twist. Push down and twist. Click. All right. So, oh, hit the button. So, go back down to zero. All right, so let's put that reflector back on. So this is how this all looks. Alexa over here talking, y'all. Let's go back to zero. And we're going to go to 1%. 1%. 1%, y'all. 1%. Trying to tell y'all, it's bright now. When I point it to the side. So that's 20%. 40. 60. 80. 100. Yep. It is bright. Ooh. I am not about to look into it. Okay. Now we're going to cut it on off and that is the wonderful light that I've been so excited about and um, yeah so hopefully I'll be able to make a lot more YouTube videos using these lights and um, give y'all the best quality uh, that I can I already was you know trying to get my audio the best I can and you know still working on that but getting better at it as far as my audio trying to get like I said my lighting the best I can getting better at it you know as long as I'm not going backwards I feel like you know it's a good thing that um I'm just trying to get better at everything that I do all right so um I'll be doing a lot of a lot of different reviews on things from here on out. Um, also, um, fixing things, putting things together, different ideas of things, and um, you know, just stay tuned and see what I got to offer. You know, I appreciate any and everybody that that watches my videos. Um, you know, try to subscribe and um, hit the like button. Um, you know, it, whatever you feel, if I ain't giving you what you like, then, you know, I guess don't, don't like it. Don't, you know, subscribe, but I still appreciate it, you know, cause I mean, I might, you might not like what I'm doing or saying now, but you never know what the future holds. All right. So I catch y'all later and, um, thanks for joining me. This is Dez Thoughts. Later.